Alright, so I have the female MC of Headphone Therapy. Introduce yourself to the people. Deluxe. How y'all doing? Hi, Miss Deluxe. How you doing? I'm perfect. <laughs> now I want to ask you about something that caters more to your personality on the microphone. You are very message heavy and your deliverance is not only pure angry, but you want people to listen to you. As a female MC, how important is it to be heard? Of course it's important to be heard because it's like well, a lot of I heard a lot of people say they don't like female rappers. They said like they like to listen to a certain <laughs> type. So they like they really critical when it comes to female rappers. So when I rap it's like I'm angry because I want everybody to hear me. Like like don't don't judge because I'm a female, judge because of my lyrics or what I have to say. That's how I feel, so I come off strong. Well, let's focus on your verse on ghost bars. I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna go word for word with you. I'm gonna put it like this. When you delivered your verse, not only were you grabbing people by their ears, but I remember how like grandma used to grab you and twist your ear and make you sit down. You had that type of delivery on the verse. How important is it for you to be heard on the verse rather than to just somebody listen to you on the verse? Like, I don't know, it's like the, like the same question you said before, I, I feel like I have something to prove being a female rapper and being the only girl in a, a all like male, like teens, so I feel I have to come across. Well, I want to, I want to salute you because in the history of hip hop, females carried the banner for hip hop 80% of the time before the first male MC even broke. If it wasn't for Sylvia Robinson, Sugar Hill would never have been out there. You didn't know about the Mercedes ladies and even on the West Coast, JJ Fad. You don't know about them. You don't know anything about hip hop. So, so being that you follow the, a legacy of strong female MCs, especially from Jersey's roots, how important is it for you to stay true to yourself as well as make everybody bow to a queen on the mic? I feel like you like in this industry you gotta stay true to yourself like because it's gonna be a lot of situations where people will touch you like they'll touch you as a person they'll touch you as anything so I feel like it's very important to be to know who you are and to stay true to that okay the thing about your style that I love not like like I said, I listen. Got me blushing over here. That's good. <laughs> the one thing about your style that I love is, is your delivery. You're very punch. You're not punchline heavy, but you're very word heavy. What made you want to hit the ear that way? Because I grew, I grew up like when they start like to really rap is listen to Tupac, and he always had a message. Like anything he did, he had a message. So I learned from that, that like he's my inspiration of how I come off, how I rap. Well, Tupac has the banner of being the heart of hip hop. He wasn't the skill of hip hop. He wasn't the lyricist of hip hop. He wasn't even the backbone of hip hop. But when you heard Pac, he grabbed your heart. Whether he talked about his mom, whether he talked about the black community, whether he talked about how he went to war with his enemies. So if you're heavy on the message, give me the message that you wanna that you wanna give to your listeners or to your opposition. My message is I, my clear message to give to anybody is that like um, I'm just ready, like no matter what. Like if somebody tries to step to me battling or anything, like I'm ready. Like I ain't no whole bars because I'm I'm tired of all this friendly stuff. Like we could be friends. Afterwards, like, <laughs> what happened to the competitiveness? Like, anything, like, so I'm just ready. That's well, my message. <laughs> Don't sleep on me because I'm a chick. Because a okay. lot of people like to sleep on me. Because I like the attitude because, <laughs> unfortunately, in hip hop, if I ask the average person to name five female MCs, they're going to give you Nikki, they're going to give you Remy. And depending on what coast you're on, you won't know. There's great MCs like Asia Sparks, Tarika June, Snow the Product, Deluxe. <laughs> now, the thing, now the thing about it is, they say sex sells. But we know that mind sex is the biggest thing because if you catch a person's ear in their mind, they're going to be attracted to you no matter what. So 
give me the words. What is it that they can guarantee to get from you every time you touch a mic? When I touch a mic, you want to get bars, like personality, metaphors, or like everything. I don't really do too much of the sexy stuff because I think it's played out. I feel like people overdo it, like, like the females especially. And most of the people that do, do the sexy stuff, they got boob job, butt job. Like I'm trying to bring like real, real hip hop back. All right. That's how I feel. Alright, MC Light, Rod Digger, Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. Gotta go, Little Kim, she Lord is nasty. Right. Even though she do sex, I feel like she learned from one of the best. Can't, you can't count her out. Like, she is nasty. Alright, Danny Devito. 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 Alright, when is your album dropping? It's coming soon. I got and, what, EP. and what can we look forward to? Mm, it's coming soon. It's called the Butterfly Effect. You want to look for dopeness. Well, he had to go up in his roller decks for that. He the had the Butterfly Effect. Like, I never heard of that. No more. <laughs> now, the Butterfly Effect, from what I understand it is, one event can change your whole life. Yeah. Exactly. This CD will change your life. You <laughs> might have to. This will change your whole life. I expect that everything is good, right? Sitting on the way of life. You think I'm dope now, just wait until you listen to the album. Alright. Fake friends say they love me, but I know they lie. Fake friends say they love me, but I know they lie. Fake friends say they love me, but I know they lie. Cause in the dark, see they hearts full of homicide. I swear to God, I don't want to be here Shed a couple tears, cause I can't relate to my peers Crying out for help, but it's falling on death There's my time being so tilted in It's fuck this world, I don't fit in Hearts up with poison, my attractive prison